assalamu alaikum class today we are going to start your summer pack for class 4th science the activity number 1 is about the life cycle of frog here you should know about the two basic terms the life cycle and the frog life cycle uh, is a, is the stages or the changes that an animal goes throughout their lives and frogs and amphibians mean that they are capable of living on land as well as on uh, in water they have to grow through several stages of life before they get adult and during these stages they only live in water so the life cycle of the frog life begins as the frog lays egg in the pond. This is the first stage and these eggs float in water in a jelly like mass. The second stage, the second stage in which the egg hatches and the tadpole develops. The tadpole uh, look uh, more like fish, it doesn't have any leg. During the third stage, the tadpole uh, started to develop the hind legs. It started to look uh, like a uh, little like a frog and after uh, this stage the, the uh, tadpole started to develop the front legs and uh, it changes into into a froglet. The froglet uh, then uh, the froglet is having a tail, the tail which uh, store nutrients that a frog uses during these uh, stages and after this the frog develops into a young, uh, young frog. During this stage the uh, the, ta the tail of the frog uh, usually start to disappear and, and a frog is uh, converting into an adult frog. The adult frog is the uh, is the final frog that uh, that is two to three years old. During this stage the uh, the tail eventually begins to disappear and it uh, it started to eat insects from plants and animal using its stump. So you have to draw all these stages as as I mentioned. Uh, in these uh, blanks and uh, now we are moving towards our uh, next activity that is about you have to uh, find and circle the healthy foods what is healthy food healthy food is a food that maintains or improves overall health provide body with essential nutrients fluids protein vitamins and energy for your ease there is a list uh, given below uh, that is having uh, some healthy food and you have to find out these uh, food from the given puzzle and to color it so the first one is almond as you can see that there is uh, the, 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 there is an almond that is already circled uh, then the banana and the brown rice the remaining uh, word has to be find out by you and you should uh, color them as well then now moving towards the third activity that is about uh, water as you all know that water is an essential uh, part of our lives we use water for several activities in our daily life as for a cleaning purpose, for washing purpose, for drinking, for cooking. So you have to mention some of these uses in the following circles and, uh, and to color it. Now uh, moving from class 4 science. Look carefully at the pictures and put B, C and D in the given boxes where B is for producers. Producers are the organisms that make their own food. C is for consumers that do not make their own food but take it from the producers. Now D. D is for decomposers, the organism that uh, the organism that feed on the dead remains of other animals or the organic material are decomposers like bacteria, fungi, or invertebrate. Now you can see that there is a diagram mention of a sun. Sun is not a producer, but it is a basic or the direct source of energy for many producer, producers. That's why we are putting B in it. Now uh, you can see that there is a pine tree. Pine tree is a producer. As you know, the tree produces their own food by the process known as photosynthesis. Now there is a spider. Spider is not a producer because it can't produce its own food but take it from the others. That's why it is consumer. Now heading uh, toward the decomposers, the, de the decay bacteria. As I mentioned before, that the animal, uh, that the organisms like bacteria are decomposers because they feed on the dead remains of other animals. So decay bacteria is known as uh, decomposers. Now you have to fill the remaining uh, diagrams uh, by using the given information uh, and to complete it. Are you from class four science? Here you have to draw a food chain and to show that how energy is transferred among the producers, the consumer, the scanry consumer, the tertiary consumers. So I am going to give you a, 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 a introduction to this and then I am going to give you an example of a simple food chain. After that you are going to take any of these example and you have to draw a simple food chain in the given space over here. First of all, what is food chain? Food chain is a chain in which the energy is transferred through food among different organisms. Like uh, as I have mentioned before, 
uh, in the recent uh, in the recent activity that water produces produces organisms that are capable of making their own food then primary consumers are the consumers that feed upon the producers for the purpose of obtaining food similarly secondary consumer ob obtain food from primary consumer and tertiary consumer obtain food from secondary consumer here you are having a an example of a food chain a food chain always starts with the producers producers are the organisms that are capable of making their own food like plant plant is to be fed by grasshopper grasshopper are the primary consumer that feed upon producers for the purpose of obtaining food then this grasshopper is fed up by uh, by sparrow that is the secondary consumer secondary consumer feed upon primary consumer for the purpose of obtaining food then the secondary consumer uh, feed upon uh, is fed upon by tertiary consumer for the purpose of obtaining food likewise so plant then grasshopper then sparrow and then snake you are going to take any of the example from here like it can be flower butterfly frog snake it can be plant mouse snake and eagle algae fish shield shark you are going to take any of the example and you are going to draw it over here in the given space now the second part of activity number 5 that why energy is important for animal survival as we need energy for many pro processes to maintain life so without energy we can't be able to move to digest food to reproduce and to grow number 7 from class 4 so in here you have to solve a crossword puzzle you have been given with a few statements and you have to read them and understand them them and after finding your correct answer you have to put them in the given boxes some uh, boxes are given in horizontal uh, position and the other one were in uh, vertical or downward position positions so i am going to uh, solve few of uh, these for you and you have to solve uh, the remaining parts uh, there is a little uh, misprinting in the in the given crossword so i have put uh, correct word, uh, correct numbering over here like uh, this is for 11th Uh, like for this this is for 14 so it is for 14th statement you have to look upon it and to solve it by yourself i am going to explain uh, these statements for you like the uh, like uh, number 1 is this is another name for wind pipe so the uh, another name for wind pipe is trachea i have mentioned trachea over here and the second one is the gas uh, is removed from a body through lungs is carbon dioxide so i have solved uh, this uh, an another uh, box for you as well now i am going to give you a hint of the remaining and you have to solve it by yourself like blood without oxygen is pumped from left atrium into the left there are two uh, parts of uh, heart in the left side they are they are the left atrium and the left ventricle so the blood uh, without oxygen is pumped from left atrium to left dash i have mentioned the name you have to find it and then you have to put this uh, over here like here now the other is for another name for intestine is dash uh, there are many names like intestine is also known as gut guts cavity and bowel so you have to look which of the, uh, this is going to fit over here like this is for eight the uh, your lungs uh, your lungs dash when you breathe in now we when we uh, breathe in our lungs expand and when we uh, breath out our uh, lungs relax so you have to look uh, which of this word is going to fit over here in the 10th uh, blank like over here now the other one is the part of brain which control balance and movement is uh, it can be for brain or it can be cerebrum so you have to look upon it and you have to fill the corresponding answer over here now the other is relax muscles are there are two types of uh, muscles like if the if the if the muscles are relaxed then they are uh, longer and if the muscles are contracted then they are shorter so relax muscles are you have to put it over here and the the and uh, the other one is the contract muscles like for ninth one as i have mentioned before you have to look upon it contract muscles are dash you have to put the given answer over here the lungs uh, this protect the heart and the lungs uh, i have mentioned in the uh, in the recent lecture that heart is protected by and heart and lungs are protected by uh, rib cage 
so you have to put uh, the corresponding answers uh, answer over here the other one is this is the largest part of brain brain have many part and the largest part of brain is it can be a fore brain or it can be cerebrum you have to put the answer over here this is the fifth blank now the organ is divided into four chambers uh, basically our uh, uh, brain is divided into many parts or heart is basically divided into many chambers so you have to put the given answer in the seventh blank now the second last the organs are positioned around the heart which organ is positioned around the heart you have to put the answer over here and the organ uh, which is a part of nervous system it can be brain it can be spinal cord you have to put the given answer over here in class today we are going to start with activity number eight from class fourth so here you have to match bones with the organ they are uh, protected by so if it is any bone or any organ it must be having some important function in our uh, in our body like if it is heart heart has an important function of transporting blood uh, throughout the body so if it is uh, any bone it must be having some important function as as it is present in our body so uh, uh, so you have to match the uh, match the organ according to the bone they are protected bye i am going to give you a, i give you an example i have matched heart and uh, lungs with the with the rib cage as a heart and lungs are uh, present in our chest area and our chest area is protected by rib cage so you have to look upon the remaining uh, organs like uh, brain intestine and eye and you have to match it with the given bones like the pelvis and the skull so heading to identify and draw the items that are given on the next page in the following columns as solid liquid gas you have to uh, place uh, these example according to the given condition like if it is wind magnet air smoke rain log juice ice milk water steam and pumpkin you have to identify the items and then have to place them in the given columns like if it is if we are talking about solid what are solid solid have definite shape they have definite volume and the molecules are closely packed together so looking upon the next page we are having an example of ice ice is a state of matter which has definite shape definite volume and the molecules are closely packed together so we are going to place solid over here in this column now heading toward a liquid liquid is basically fixed in volume but not in shape the the molecules are going to take shape of any container they are going to be uh, fill in like if uh, if i am pouring milk in any glass it is going to take shape of that glass and if i am pouring milk in uh, any other bottle it is going to take shape of that bottle or container so uh, i'm going to place milk in this column like uh, moving toward gas gas is an another example of matter which do not have definite shape nor any volume the volume expand according to the container and the molecules can uh, freely move together so i'm having an example of air air is basically a state of matter it in which the molecules can move freely so i'm going to place gas over here 11 from class 4 science so here you have been provided with few foods like burger sandwiches cheese vegetable salad and the other two on the next page we are going to discuss it further so you have to mention that what does they contain what are the benefits of eating them and the harmful effects of uh, having them having them so nowadays burgers sandwiches these are a very important part of our daily life we can't live without it but excess of everything is bad so if we take uh, such food in excess then they are usually going to cause any serious issues to our health so we should be uh, limited with them so first of all talking about burger burger contain carbohydrate in it and the benefits of eating burger is that it is a good source of protein and the harmful effect as i have mentioned before that excess of everything is bad so uh, it can cause weight gain which can cause obesity and is a biggest source of many diseases then uh, moving towards sandwiches sandwiches contain fats and protein and the benefits of eating sandwiches that it is uh, that it is excess in fiber so fiber help in retaining water then harmful effect 
as sandwiches uh, do contain many salts so it can ca cause high blood pressure due to high sodium intake now moving toward cheese cheese uh, usually contain protein and fats and the benefits of having cheese is that it, it is a good source of calcium and vitamin b and again if we uh, intake cheese in very large amount then it is going to cause weight gain then moving to, uh, toward vegetable vegetable salad uh, usually vegetable salad is a very healthy diet but it also have some bad impacts like uh, uh, first of all what does it contain it contain minerals and fibers fibers and minerals are very important part in uh, play a very important part in our daily uh, diet so the benefits that it is a healthy diet so it is going to provide us with many uh, many many important uh, foods or parts like minerals and fibers and the harmful effect the only harmful effect that i have been mentioning over here is indigestion if we are eating a uh, fiber in excess then it is going to cause indigestion usually that is the only side effect that I have been mentioning over here. Now moving toward the a strawberry milkshake. It contains a large amount of water and carbohydrate. It helps in reducing obesity, uh, obesity as we are taking water in excess. So the harmful effect of strawberry milkshake that it slow blood clotting. Then grilled meat. Uh, it contain uh, it contain high protein. Uh, so it is a good source of protein. Uh, it helps in weight loss. And the harmful effect of grilled meat is that it can cause a high risk of blood pressure. Thirteen from class four, science. Here you have to mention the heart uh, rate change with exercises. The material you need for these exercises are a piece of paper, a pen or pencil, clock or timer that shows second to the helper with the help of watch, comfortable exercise clothes, a simple and fun exercises with which you are going to. Uh, have fun such as it can be a jumping rope it can be bicycle it can be hollow hop it ha it can be two pound weight etc you are going to take any three exercises and uh, on uh, three different days and then you are going to perform the experiment i am going to explain well the first step for uh, the experiment is that you should choose an exercise for example you are going to jump a rope then you are going to mention it over here like to jump a rope then you are going to uh, record your heart rate for few seconds uh, and then you are to put them uh, put the reading over here like the heart rate before exercise then you are going to perform the, uh, the exercise for next 15 minutes and then you have to check your pulse and record it in the given table like heart rate after exercise and then uh, you have to you mentioned the change in pulse rate what is the change occurring in the pulse rate then you are going to perform another exercise on the next day and similarly you're going to uh, to repeat the procedure then on the third day exactly the same i have uh, i have uh, given you an example like if uh, i'm going to ride a bicycle my heart rate before exercise is going to be 85 i'm going to record the reading for a minute then after exercise it would be 105 and the change is by my uh, is by subtracting the heart rate after exercise from the heart rate before exercise this is the change in pulse rate after exercising you have to show uh, over here that what what you are going to feel at the end of exercise are you feeling exhausting or or you are you feeling fresh and what do you think that we need exercise? We need. Uh, I'm going to give you a reason, a single reason for this, that we need exercise to help to live a healthy life. You are going to uh, find out any two, 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 three reasons, and we are going to put it over here. Fourteen from class four science. Here you have to discuss about the cycle of oxygen. First of all, you should familiar with the term what is oxygen cycle. Oxygen cycle basically refer to the movement of oxygen through atmosphere, through lithosphere and to biosphere. So uh, you should be familiar with these three terms, what is atmosphere, what is biosphere and what is lithosphere. Biosphere is basically the zone of life on earth like the plants, the animals, they are biospheres. Then coming toward atmosphere, atmosphere is the layer of gases that is present around us. And lithosphere is the rigid part of uh, earth like the land so uh, the first step in the uh, in the cycle of oxygen is the photosynthesis the living part like the plants the producers 
are performing the process of photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, oxygen is released as a byproduct. That oxygen is taken up by the animals um, and the, and the uh, process of respiration is being performed. Respiration is a process that basically provides energy for different life processes like to move, to grow, to reproduce. That all energy is, is being produced by the process of respiration. Then when an animal respires, it releases carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide is again taken up by the producers and then uh, the producer uses that carbon dioxide and perform a process known as photosynthesis. That photosynthesis again releases oxygen in, into the atmosphere and the cycle continues uh, again. Now there is another question that why oxygen is necessary for the survival of living being. So oxygen is necessary for the process of respiration as I have mentioned before that respiration is a process in which we have been provided with energy. That energy is needed by us for many purposes, right? It can be for the, for the purpose of movement to, to grow or um, to reproduce, etc. Your activity number 15, in which you have to explain the function of different parts of plant, like it can be flower, root, stem and leaf. You are going to explain that why these parts are important to plant like if, if it is about flower so flower is important for the purpose of seed production and seed production is eventually uh, responsible for the process of pollination then the roots this, these are the roots roots are important for the purpose of absorbing water and minerals then the stem this is the stem stem is important for the purpose of transporting that mineral and water that has been absorbed by roots to the remaining part of plants then these leaves leaves are important for the purpose of photosynthesis as we are discussing again and again that photosynthesis is a process in which an a producer uh, produces energy so uh, it is the most important part of, uh, of 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 a food chain now you have been uh, you have been given with the different uh, parts of fruit and you have to uh, point out that which part of each plant is to be taken up by us like if we are talking about apple uh, we usually eat fruit in it then if we are talking about broccoli we eat flower in it then cauliflower again we are eating flower in it in spinach we are taking leaves in turnip we are taking the roots in onion we are taking the leaves in beans we are taking the seeds in carrot we are taking the roots in celery we are taking the leaves in tomato we are taking the fruit in peas we are taking the seeds and in lettuce again we are taking the leaves so these are the uh, parts of plant that we are consuming in our daily diet so yeah, it gives you number 17 from class 4 science here you have been provided with GMCQs, we have to encircle the correct answer. Like the number one is problem solving is solved by these are the part of brain and the and the part that is involved in movement and problem solving is the frontal lobe. Second MCQs is the largest part of brain is again question related to brain that is the cerebrum. How many times does the heart beat in a minute? The normal heartbeat rate is 70. What happens when the artery contact? When artery contact, the deoxygenated blood, like the blood without oxygen, is formed from right artery to right ventricle. Lungs are protected by, as we have mentioned, it, as we have discussed it before, that the rib cage is the one that protects lungs and heart. What happens when you breathe in? Oxygen is taken in. Like when we exhale, the oxygen is released. When we inhale, the oxygen is taken in. The intestine help to break down food because this, these activities is to be provided by uh, mouth. The intestine are the part of the digestive system because it can intestine can't be part of the respiratory system, muscular system, circulatory system because this is the function provided by blood these are the functions related to muscles and these are according to the uh, uh, lungs and uh, 
and it inhale and exhale of oxygen is taken in the respiratory system so digestive system is the system that is interlinked with the intestine that usually break down food then coming toward the second page then muscles contact they become shorter water is made up of as we know h2 is the formula for water so water uh, hot hydrogen and oxygen animal get energy from animal that eat plants are known as secondary consumer because plant are eaten by primary consumers so by the the one that fed upon primary consumer are secondary consumer where which gas do plant absorb carbon dioxide in photosynthesis they absorb carbon dioxide and then releases oxygen which part of human body is a muscle heart is a muscle because of these are the organs which feature help a polar bear to survive in cold thick fur the fur uh, as i have discussed it before that every animal has some proper uh, adaptation in which it is uh, able to survive in certain environment the process by which animal reproduce are asexual reproduction then which of the following are rich in vitamin oranges are uh, vitamin rich in vitamin c which of the following is not rich in carbohydrate fish fish generally is not rich in carbohydrate which of the following body carries the most jam hand is the part of our body that carries the most jam move your activity number 18 from class 4 so here you have been provided with a background knowledge of balancing diet a diet is a is a balanced combination of food in which uh, which is required for growth for repair for energy giving uh, for uh, energy giving uh, food etc so you also need fiber but fiber is not basically digested by our body it is uh, it help in moving a food through the digestive tract so the amount of food you need basically depend upon that how active you are and how much you are growing if you eat too little then the required then the given requirement then you are going to suffer from malnutrition and if you eat too much then the required amount then you are going to become overweight so there is a need that you should uh, keep your uh, diet in balance so here are a few example that are uh, that are mentioned like if you are uh, having boiled potato cabbage carrot so you should also add boil egg in your diet because this is a source of carbs this is a source of vitamins so you should also need protein in your diet similarly boiled rice are the uh, are the source of fiber grilled lamb is a source of minerals bacon is a source of protein so you should also need vitamins for this you should add carrot in your diet then pizza uh, pizza is a good source of calcium and uh, fiber so you should also have some carbohydrate in your diet so that is uh, that is added by having some boiled potatoes then chicken drumstick is a good source of protein peas are a good source of vitamins so you should also add rice by for having carbohydrates in your diet then lettuce is a good source of protein spring onion is a good source of fiber grated carrots is a good source of vitamin bread is a good source of carbohydrates so you should also add chicken slice for the purpose of having protein in your diet then fried eggs are the good source of protein bacon is a good source of fiber so you should also add cabbage uh, as it is a good source of vitamin here you have to explore the plant processes like the transpiration and the transportation you have to perform to experiment i have been helping you with the one uh, then the other one is to be performed by you and the results will be mentioned over here so number one what is transpiration transpiration is basically the process by which the excess water is being removed from the plant body so for this you need uh, to perform an experiment in which you have to uh, you have to take two fresh leaves two jars with lead then 
the, 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 the leaves you are picking should not be fallen on ground they should be fresh you have taken it from a uh, tree place the, these leaves in one jar and the other uh, leaf in the uh, other jar now screw the lid tightly uh, put one jar in the refrigerator and the other jar in the sunshine then come after a few hours and see what happened you, are, you have to mention the result over here the other uh, is about uh, transportation transportation is basically the process by which uh, minerals and water is, tra is transferred throughout the plant body so you need to drink in glass tap water red food color and two, two stems you have to fill the glass with water and then add enough food color then you have to place this, uh, the stem in it uh, in, the, in the water and uh, then you have to leave it overnight and come back next day and see what happened the result will be that the stem in the water uh, that uh, as we kept the stem in the water transportation takes place like the water is being transferred through the leaf so presence of red water inside the stem is observed like if if the transportation is occurring the uh, the leaf is absorbing uh, water and we have added red color in the water so that's why the uh, the water seen inside the stem will be red in color so you have to perform the first one, first experiment and you have to mention the result over here so here you need a partner and a balloon and what uh, what you are going to do the first step for this is that you have to blow up the balloon the second one is that you have to hold it against your ear and the third one is that you are going to ask your partner to press their lips against the balloon and they are going to speak then you have to repeat the same experiment but this time you should speak and your partner is going to listen the conclusion from this activity that, that you are going to obtain is that the sound vibration through a balloon is felt. As I have mentioned before that vibration is going to be felt which concluded that vibration is the one that produces the sound. Air around object transmit these vibrations. So you are also going to perform this experiment and uh, if there is something further that you, that you can add in this conclusion you are going to do so. So the message for today is a little progress each day adds up to the big result. Thank you so much.